Okay, so it sounds like we're recording, so hopefully we are. We'll try and play that in a, back in a bit. So, what we got here, hi, this is, uh, introduce ourselves. This is Michael from High Power Garage. See if I can get myself in the screenshot here, or in the shot. So, let's turn that around. Let's go like that. All right, so, there we go. So today we're going to kind of go over our uh, engine pre-oiler. So yes, I've blanked out the uh, propaganda on my shirt because we don't want to advertise for anybody. Um, so here's what we got. Put some gloves on. We're working on a uh, 96 Cummins 59. Uh, this is a fully rebuilt engine. And what we've made here, it weighs a small ton is our engine pre-oiler. We made this ourselves. We just took an old uh, CO2 fire extinguisher that was uh, had the front top of it damaged, so we took it all apart. You can see it in our uh, projects video. Um, we put in an airline, we modified the top, we uh, drilled and cut and cut and drilled, threaded it, put in a um, pressure reducing valve so we could have just the right amount of pressure. We've got it pre-marked so that we're going to pump 40 pounds of air pressure into this thing and that way we can uh, make sure we're not blowing seals or anything like that. We don't want to blow seals on our brand new motor. Um, so basically what we've gone and done is we had some bits and pieces kicking around so we took an old hydraulic coupler that we had and these ones, I, I'm pretty sure they all do this. Um, I'm trying to find the other type of coupler where they push on and they pull off. So with this little sleeve here, you can see that this thing moves this way. Well, they have really, really fancy ones. Well, I call them fancy, where you can actually pull it and it, it, it goes the opposite direction as this as you push it on. So you basically, instead of instead of pulling the collar back because sometimes these springs can be really tough you can actually push it and it goes right on real nice and easy so anyways so we got that quick disconnect just for demonstration purposes nothing's really tight yet and then what we've gone and done is we're going to fill the sucker with oil we're going to put air to it and the beauty about Cummins in in as far as the uh, pumping oil into the thing is uh, these Cummins engines, let's do a little bit of crap camera work here actually what I'll do is I'll just disconnect the camera completely because it makes it just so much easier these, uh, these Cummins have right on the top where the uh, oil filter setup goes they have a port right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to pump from our canister, our oil pre-luber, pump oil through the hose into the top that will preload the turbo because the turbo needs oil. Uh, that should be directly connected into all the other oil galleries and it basically should back feed all the way to the pump. The pump has an oil port. It's got a it's got a hose right in there. Hard to see in this light. So we're gonna make sure that that's got oil in it. Um, you can tell if the if you this cover is not tight. So we can actually just pump a little bit of oil through there, and we should get oil squirting into here. So if we go and just loosen this off, we can pull this off. Make sure it's lubed the oil, and then away you go. So that's our project and uh, that's what we're going to go for so that's uh, that's our high power garage and that is our um, engine oil pre-luber so hopefully that works really well and we'll give it a test and when we actually go to run it we'll give you a demo of that ciao high power garage out